Hey guys, welcome back. BDC KR here, and we're back with our weekly recap of all things injustice. This is the week of September 28th, 2023. Current challenge is for Red Lantern Hal Jordan. It's a one-week repeat. Required characters are Bane, Joker, and Catwoman, available as cheaply as silver, silver, and bronze in the store. His passive is Red Lantern Rage. Special attacks and super move use health instead of power. Red Lantern Hal cannot be healed. He's got 950 attack and 1400 health. Last available December the 1st, 2022. And I'll get this out of the way. I always want to say Red Sun Green Lantern instead of Red Lantern Hal Jordan. Because really, the, the names are almost the same. It's red. The difference is Sun versus Lantern, because in my mind, Green Lantern and Hal Jordan are one and the same. I know that's not true. Lots of other Green Lanterns. But when you grow up with, um, you know, before the... Well, I guess Green Lantern Corps came. That's a, another digression. We'll do that in our Q&A, maybe. So out of all the characters that are in the challenge that we have played during the weeks, during their challenge since November 2022, Red Lantern and Hal Jordan is one of the few who cannot, absolutely cannot be your main damage dealer in multiplayer. Before he was nerfed, he could. Before he was nerfed, he was amazing. And he's okay now, but it's hard to get so excited when you know how good he used to be. There is a video we're going to link in the description where we demonstrated when he first came out just how good he was. Because when he was nerfed, there were two ways he was nerfed. One, he no longer gets his power back immediately. You used to get it back right away. You do it, boom, you could do it again. To the point where when he had an invulnerability, you could do repeated supers nonstop. And that was sort of the magic combination with John Stewart Green Lantern and Red Lantern Hal Jordan, where you could just keep on doing supers over and over until the enemy was out. Um, and now it has, you, you can see it just, the power slowly comes back after he's done a special and his special two used to do more than the stated damage. And when they nerfed it, they reduced it to less than the stated damage. So both are reasons why now he's just not viable as a main damage dealer because he's just got a limited amount of health to use before he runs out of being able to do specials. And there's no way to increase his basic damage output enough with his three gear slots or I guess his special output enough to take on a full enemy team of three characters in multiplayer. Offline, weaker characters, absolutely. Online multiplayer, no way. I mean, and here's the thing though, he's still okay. If you wanna take advantage of his passive so that he's able to do more specials, lots of strategies. You can use Astro Harness, which you see here, because while he's invulnerable, he won't lose health when he does a special despite what uh, his passive says. So the invulnerability works for him too. Other thing is John Stewart is a teammate uh, because he gives you a free invulnerability, right? And while he's invulnerable, free specials. Necron Scythe, because it revives after you run out of health, it gives you a little bit more health to do some more specials and also two pieces of fourth world gear set for revive. Again, after you run out of health, you can do another special. Because his special two takes 20% of his health, Doing exactly five special twos without taking any other damage at all, the fifth one will knock you out. Well, you'll knock yourself out without getting the damage. So it's basically you can only do four special twos and then you've got enough power to do a special one. However, one sort of minor trick is that if you do a minor augment on his health so that it is no longer easily divisible by five, you can end up with one health after doing five special twos. So you're actually able to do five special twos and not knock yourself out as long as you don't take any other damage. And I think actually out of, I know I listed a bunch of things, but I think you can also use the Merciless's shield on Tagen to protect Red Lantern Hal Jordan from being knocked out. But when he's doing a special, but practically it, it doesn't contribute enough and tagging in just kills time. And when we're looking at a main damage dealer, sort of the star of your team, it's a combination of high damage output and quick. So the version of Red Lantern Hell Jordan you're seeing on this team in the background is with Claw of Horus and Enchantress. So because he loses health so quickly, it's hard to make him your primary special specialist. But as a secondary special specialist, he is really good. He can strip all the gears off the opponents with two special ones immediately. I think they only do 10% damage each time. 
And with Astro Harness in the first invulnerability, it means you can do two of them before you lose your invulnerability. And even if you would wait that pause long enough for the skulls to come in so that you can strip off all the gears by leveraging the effect of the skulls, um, it doesn't cost you any health. You've done two special twos. You stripped their the f opponent of all the gears. And so that your main special specialist is free to knock out the opponent who has Astro Harness if that's your strategy when you tag in Red Lantern Hell Jordan against their Astro Harness guy. So since Red Lantern Hell Jordan can't be the main damage dealer, this is our excuse to use Injustice to Superman, who you're seeing on the screen. He was last available March the 12th, 2020. Wow. Three and a half years ago. Okay. So his passive is Kryptonian Fortitude. Every time Superman tags in, he takes no damage from the first special he uh, received. Bonus 5% damage and 5% health per promotion. Which is pretty wild. Like the, um, So that is up to a 50% damage and 50% health boost over his actual stats. It does not show up in the numbers that you see. It's a 50% boost above that um, when he is Elite 10. Uh, so... The passive where he takes no damage from the special is controllable. So if you don't block a special, the passive triggers. If you block, you will take block damage and you will keep your shield. If you block and then let go during the opponent's special, if the opponent's special is a multi-hit one, and you let go and you actually don't block one of the hits, you will take block damage for the ones that you blocked, and then you will lose the shield. Uh, another interesting thing is that the shield will renew after each tagging. So you can just do that over and over. So in this team with Hawkgirl, because we can tag him in uh, in and out quickly, it becomes very effective. And you'll see in some of the fights in this um, footage where one of the, the problems that's interesting to deal with is a, an Arkham team that has Arkham Knight Batgirl. And the biggest danger is when she saves her teammate whoever your main damage dealer is, is vulnerable because there will be stunned. And if Batgirl does a special, you will be knocked out. Unless you've got Astro Harness, not a great loadout anyways for your main damage dealer. You really want to have maximum output, but that might be your choice. But if you don't have Astro Harness, you are very vulnerable. This solves it. This solves that very specific uh, situation where you will not... Um, be vulnerable to her and you'll have a good chance of surviving and you don't have to worry about that particular team the same way so by playing Injustice 2 Superman as our main damage dealer one of the things that we picked up like we do anytime we do this is just how good his special 2 is and there's a few features that make him really easy to play with and really effective so he's got a 3 hit special 2 if it's unblocked if it's blocked, he loses a third hit. So his three hit special two does 25% of the damage on the first hit, 25% on the second one, and 50% on the last one. What's amazing about that, besides the fact that it's nicely balanced, like they're all doing a decent amount of damage, none of the hits are ever wasted because the time separation between each hit ensures that the pause lasts longer than the time it takes for the opponent to revive or the time it takes for a new opponent to tag in. So you never ever waste any hits except against invulnerabilities or um, right at the end of the fight when the last opponent is already knocked out. You get full value for a special two. And the other thing is it is the easiest swipe minigame because each swipe is 10% instead of most swipe games where the each increment is only 5%. So this is 175 weeks in a row of a repeating pattern that first appeared in May 2020. We've had four complete cycles of a 43-week sequence, plus this is the, I want to say third week? Right, third week in the fifth cycle. If the pattern holds, next week should be Batman Ninja Lord Joker, which it's perfect because that is one of the three that we missed in the interruptions during that time when we started November 2022. 
Of course, that is still 23 challenge characters that remain missing, but we have covered one of them just now in Justice 2 Superman. So this week's multiplayer reward is Overpowered Super, which started off as the Overpowered Pill. Or the Super Pill, actually, sorry. Um, 50% damage boost to basic attacks when maxed out. 50% crit chance to basic attacks. 90% life drain chance on Combo Ender. And 15% power, or 100% chance to drain 15% power on Combo Ender. Last available February 23rd, 2023. That's 143 weeks in a row of consistent pattern. That is 14 complete cycles, or sorry, four, four, blah, blah, four complete cycles of a 31 reward sequence. It is 19 in the latest cycle. Unlike the challenge cycle, nothing is missing for multiplayer rewards. If the pattern holds, next week should be Flashpoint Aquaman. It is an excellent piece of gear for a basic damage dealer. In fact, it is the best piece of gear in general. Um, it's got the highest crit chance for basic damage, uh, 50%, so that a max augmented card can get as close to 100% crit chance on basics as the game allows. It comes at a small cost because the damage boost is only 50% instead of 70%, which you can get on some three and a half star gears. But there's two combo ender effects on basic attacks. Uh, health drain and power drain so they're all um basic damage like it's just i'm not the biggest fan of combo enders but the other two abilities make up for it and the fact that they are all synergistic so they are if you want a basic damage dealer beast this is the perfect gear this is the platonic ideal of gear for basic damage dealer the same way that the tanzu totem is the platonic ideal for special specialists and astro harness is perfect for tanks all right in the store batman ninja lord joker pack it comes with credits even though the this is one of the few packs where the picture on the pack doesn't show it but the description says it 24.99 canadian it's a corroborating clue to next week's challenge it does not unlock batman ninja lord joker in your store it will next week in after the challenge so wait for the challenge um we didn't talk about the packs last week so this is the alien invasion pack for the second week uh 24.99 lobo martin martian manhunter i was gonna say martin manhunter it's not martian manhunter dark side um it's the lesser of the skins of all the characters all those characters have better skins there's bounty hunter lobo which is better there's blackest night martian manhunter which is better and po apocalypse dark side which is better uh, tour challenges martian manhunter has too much health not enough attack and dark side's passive is i mean it's okay but it would be so much better if he were bronze uh what's interesting for this week the new pack is character bundle arkham allies for 24.99 canadian it's got arkham knight batman arkham knight catwoman the gear for batman is the dawn of justice one um batman's hooded cloak which becomes batman's cowl this is normally the harder one to get and it's probably worth it for some people because it unlocks the chance to get arkham knight batman in the phantom zone uh, as a reward so yeah i think if you're going to make a case of getting a one challenge character and one otherwise unavailable except for cash character, yeah, um, don't often say that. So a bunch of other packs that have been in there for well on almost a couple, well over a year, almost a couple of years, um, and Phantom Zone is back for two weeks. Fight 62 is still broken, and it's double XP for the weekend. I guess I, I, I don't know what um, holiday it is for North America that would justify it. Maybe there's something American? Yeah, tell me in the comments if you want. Uh, last weekend's breakthrough for Golds was Hawkgirl, Green Lantern, and Lobo. This coming weekend's is going to be probably Lex Luthor, Batman, and Doomsday. Link in the description to a thread in the Injustice Mobile subreddit from Devlin16, one of the mods that goes over the complete breakthrough cycle. And as far as the current glitches go, we go into more detail every time something significant changes, which did not happen this week. 
However, even if nothing changes, we still do a more detailed review once a month, the first week of every month. Most recently, that was our recap from September 7th, 2023. You can also see a video tutorial for every working glitch in our playlist, current glitches or current working glitches, linked in the description of this video. The only thing probably worth mentioning is that the challenge reset glitch has been confirmed to be working on this week's Red Lantern Hal Jordan challenge. And that's it. This is where we like to give a big thank you to our patrons on Patreon. That would be Alexis M. supporting us on the Your Message Here tier. Michael DeVries, Irvin Ruiz, and Hoshi127 who are supporting us on the credit level. And all those names, other names that you see on the screen in front of you are the people who have been generous enough to have supported us through Patreon at some point during this pandemic, which is slowly becoming an epidemic and eventually something endemic so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time komoda